Didn't see you there. Sorry, I was just uh, sleeping. I don't know if any of you know this, but I actually live in this chair. So, this is my bed, essentially. And my kitchen. And my bathroom. It's reality. Anyway. Anyway. I have another story to tell you. It is a story about Buckbeak the Hippogriff. Buckbeak the Hippogriff was a very successful movie star. Maybe a few of you have seen it. It's a little movie called Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. So Buckbeak had a lot of success. She had a lot of money. Unfortunately though, she had a lot of credit card debt. She spent most of her movie money on Beanie Babies. She thought they were a good investment, so <laughs> Dave Ramsey would disagree. So she decided that she needed to get her life together. So she went to her friend Harry Potter. And Harry Potter was all, I'm cool. Ugh. And Buckbeak was very disappointed, but she didn't let that get her down. She kept at it. So she decided, I'll do this myself. I don't need Harry. I don't need Hermione. I don't need Ron. So she went to her local bakery and tried to get a job because, you know, bacon bread, that's easy. And she actually got fired the first day because she gave several of the customers West Nile virus. Finally, Buckbeak decided to go after her goal of playing in the NBA, and she tried out for the Boston Celtics. Now, Buckbeak was a great post defender, but she just wasn't that outside scoring threat that the Celtics needed at that time. So, she was cut. But she didn't let that get her down either. She kept at it. So finally she decided, hey, I'm going to be a tour guide at my local museum. And she got the job. And she did great. Until one day, one of the kids on the tours was making fun of her making fun of her beak, making fun of her silly feathers. And if you remember from the books or the movie, hippogriffs are very proud creatures. And Buckbeak bit this child in the face. Now, normally this wouldn't be a huge deal, but the child um, was actually the son of one of the best prosecutors in the country. And sadly, Buckbeak was sued and was found guilty for assault and spent 15 years in prison. And everyone else lived happily ever.